real fight. What do you think you're doing? Oh, please. If you only spare my I need some more uh, idols in order to sell them off. Let him run away. this time. Forget something if you're already dead. Seriously, does anyone know? for a bit. Alrighty. Alright, let's try this again. They got Nicholas. We're gonna beat him up. I can't prepare it though. Shit! I'm in trouble. Just run, fake. Run. No 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 Let's 
guys are much more annoying on uh, universe mode than I remember. It's been a long time since I've played universe mode. All right, I killed two of them. That was easy. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Awesome. So Nicholas is locked up somewhere in here. Norton's hideout. Huge. All right, a fresh sage. Might need that a little later. First, I need a safe point. <clears throat> so this Norton guy's an off-worlder too. What he's doing here? <coughs> Let's see. Not yet. Not enough to increase spring. Alright, now this is the password thing. Read instructions. It's a three number password. Two, five, and six was the order we found them. Hey, first try! Alright. Alright, this is going to be a pretty exhausting fight. Um, luckily, I already have all the battle trophies for most of the boss battles in this game, so... No need to worry about that. Nicholas. I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. At least leave a note. The music box parts. I wanted to get them back. I... I could not ask you to do this for us. But that's crazy. It is dangerous here. You... must leave. Quickly. He'll... get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. Must leave. This is bad. I better hurry. <clears throat> Think. Think. Oh, yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator. Or. Wait. I might be stuck here if I lose my communicator. What am I thinking? There's no time. Hold on, Nicholas. I'll get you out. Whoa. Since when have you had the ability to make makeshift bombs? I've heard of rebellious years in college, but damn. He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh, right. My translator was built into that communicator. So... It seems... odd. Actually, it really doesn't. 
No time for regrets now. We better get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Freeze! Uh oh. That man has a gun. We are simply putting a boy down. We are coming out quietly. No funny moves if you want to stay alive. Play nice and I'll let you live a little longer. I love this guy's voice actor. That was a phase gun, so you must be Norton. Yeah, that's me. I am Norton the Great. <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken, huh? Seems like ages. <laughs> Why are you here? You're not from this planet, are you? I'm from Razor, boy. We're not part of the Federation. Razor? I've heard of that planet. Right. That planet filled with joy seekers that keeps rejecting Federation membership. Hmm. Sounds like it's a constant planet full of six flags. So what are you doing here? This is an underdeveloped planet, you know. Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. Guess it was a bit much even for Razor. So I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. I honestly want to know what it was. But the escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine codes. How did you even... never mind. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. You stupid idiot. Oh, man. All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing and this planet's become my prison. Ha. Uh. And the others, Norton? Ha. Uh. Jesus. That's Lord Norton to you. There must have been others. What happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys, they're dead. They were trying to send out a distress signal and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. Bam! <laughs> Jesus. That crash part was unfortunate. But no use crying over spilt milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. You get my drift? So that's why you've been raiding Whipple? Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. Sorry. You'll be happy to know I'm going to make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. <laughs> it's guys like you. Whoa. The protagonist is strong with this one. Huh? What the? Ah, there you are. <gasps> I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. Might never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. It is. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? Yeah, that's a good one. As if being voiced by freaking Kakashi Hatake was good enough. Well, then who are you? Dave Wittenberg. Cliff Bitter. A Clausian and member of Quark. Big Daddy Cliff, baby. Yes! Love a this man. Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kind of in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. I've been chosen. Hold it right there, or I'll blast you! Huh? You talking to me? <laughs> you think you could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> it's 
guy's lost a guy's a broken record. Since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! What in the Matrix? Alright. I'm done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. Damn it, I love you, Cliff. Here I go! Bring it on! Damn! Fury! Gotta move, gotta move! Oh, just out of range. Oh, damn it. I ran right into that one. Let's heal you up, Cliff. Ow! That hurt. Ow. Damn it. Ow! Son of a bitch! Yes! Thank you, Cliff. And you kept my battle gauge intact. My kingdom! Too late for regrets. Well, so much for that guy. But I did try to warn him. He did. I've heard the physical abilities of Clausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man, <laughs> he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti-Federation group? Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Well, this is about the only thing that still works. The rest is ruined. Here. Is this a communicator? How lucky! Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. Well, the thing is, they make great makeshift bombs, so... Uh, um... Thanks for getting me out of that mess. You saved my life. Whoa there. Don't go thanking me yet. You see, I've come to abduct you. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me laugh every single time he says that. It's really an alien abduction story. What? Now, don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. What do you explain that? What do you explain that then? It's just. My boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I... Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. You make it sound like it was my fault Haida got attacked. Jeez. Wink, wink. Just kidding, don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now, and I did rescue you, so no complaining. And besides, you want to see your old man? <coughs> He's been captured by the Vendini. <gasps> what a twist! Dad? But why? Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. What about my mother? And Sophia? 
Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? Didn't he what just say that he know? was there at Haida? Not much else. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I do know what your old man, Dr. Leingod, was researching. You mean symbological genetics? Right. Symbological oh, dang genetics. It. Sorry, guys. Nineteen years ago. Ah, uh, never mind. That doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Come on. You don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendine. So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. Interesting prop pr proposition. Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, when you put it like that... Well... Tell you what, it's kind of complicated. Let's not get into that right now. So, are you coming or not? You just said you were here to abduct me and now you're asking? I love you, Cliff. Okay, I'll go with you. But could we stop by Whipple first? I want to make sure the boy gets back there safely. Sure, whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved. Calm down, Cliff. Make sure that there's no other uh, treasures around here. Heaven Cliff with me. I promise. I won't let your efforts go to waste. You done? Okay, I'm gonna blow the place. All right. All right, so we're gonna be uh. Real fight. Jeez, let me hit you guys. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Too late for regrets. So, yeah, I'm just going to be making a quick run uh, out of here. Oh, look out. There. Everything's back to normal, huh? You're wrong. Things aren't back to normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. You don't know, man. I've, I've been here two days. I know their entire history. All right. Gonna try to avoid all enemies I can. Make a beeline straight back to the village. This way. Oh yeah, I can finally pick this up. Hey. Okay. Get 
me. To the village. Calm down, Cliff. Call off the search party. I found him. Calm down, little one. Calm down. Don't worry, he's just asleep. He wouldn't leave you alone, Mina. Really? So, am I your hero? <laughs> there. Time for me to go. That is tragic. Son of a gun, why would you do that to me, game? If I remember right, I gotta visit the village again. Guy's house really quick. Alright. Let's have this girl, this this person heal us up. Yeah, you did. Can't do that. Of course. Thank you. Right. Got a few things to sell and then we can be on our way. Ooh, not going to sell that though. Let's head out. We are about to leave Vanguard 3.
Alrighty. Not gonna go to the cliff yet, because we're gonna save. And I am going to call it a night on that. Um, thank you um, for watching the very first part of Ryu Plays Star Ocean Till the End of Time. Um, I'm going to be coming out with a uh, video on YouTube to uh, explain, uh, have a more detailed streaming schedule so um, I'm not streaming so late like I did today. But... Um, yeah, thank you guys again for uh, joining in. Um, so I will see you guys next time. This is Rizaki MK7 signing off. Later, guys.